Hello, everyone. Welcome back to everyone's uh, favorite show, Two Murders and a Suicide. Yeah. That's essentially what this is. It's two people trying to kill her, failing. And so she's like, oh, fuck it. They sucked at it. <laughs> Do it myself, goddammit. But, Makoto, how did you... How were you smarter than me? This might come as a shock. But when you're not an asshole... How did you manage yeah. to... You can ass and assume people are decent. How are you able to uncover the truth? That even yeah. I couldn't discern. Yeah, let's let's backtrack real quick. Kyoko, fill fill it in for us here, Byakuya. Yeah, let, let's explain real quick how, how Byakuya fucked up. He sucked for starters, and he just failed huh? to believe in anyone. Oh, well, I mean, you still haven't realized. It's because we don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. <laughs> That's what makes us so complicated. Yeah, you tell That's him, Kyoko. What you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. You couldn't understand that we are people. People! See? Oh, you're getting didn't tired. I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. See? Our next case is also going to be a suicide because Byakuya hates himself now. <laughs> oh, he would never. That's true, but it would be great. Mm -hmm. I'd be disappointed though. I want to see his execution. That's fair. The cast just. I put my. Team wow, in. this this trial went really well. Oop, we had to be there for a second. All right, so I guess 120 coins. Yep. So it is by the tens. Uh, not necessarily. Aaron actually okay, had like okay. 1100 something and only got 98. All agree you made oh, your interesting. Point. Mm -hmm. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. I honestly kind of forgot you were here. Have we not voted? I thought I thought uh, case solved. Oh, yeah. Bing bang boom. That's go right. home. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We forgot to vote. You seriously forgot? <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I can feel my energy draining out of me. He just like deflates. Well, whatever. You don't really. That'd be so funny if he was anyway. inflatable. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and Where cast are... your vote. He says the levers, yeah. but it doesn't look like there's levers there. It honestly looks more like there'd be buttons. I think we all kind of have the right choice. What's it gonna be? I think my biggest problem with this game is only a couple of the, uh... Do we get to see, like, the blacked-out Sakura? Yep. There's a Monokuma option on this? That's kind of funny. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. This is such an interesting case. Okay, we're done here. He's so disappointed. He's what like, oh, I'm so bored and sad. So, that, that's the whole truth, huh? I see. You fucked up. You, you fucked, fucked up. up. You, you fucked, fucked up. up. But th there's still one thing I don't understand. Hina, why did you try to cover up what happened? The truth hadn't come to light. You would have had, you have died along with the rest of us. Hey, you. Why did you do that? Don't be mean. Yeah, we almost died there. What Don't be this? mean. Because... Because... Sorry. That's exactly what I wanted! What? I mean, the reason Sakura died... Is because all of you pushed her into a corner. You... You all killed her. So that's why... You should have been the one to die. I couldn't let her be the only one that died. Ooh. What? You didn't mean! You were gonna take us all with you? Oh damn, Jill is stuttering. We have to atone for our sins. Oh. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. No. What? Serious? That's... What is this? You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura is carrying with her when she died? I have an idea. Look at this! Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. 
suicide note. Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after the... the, the it was right after Genocide Jill had attacked me. Sagra got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. It's so weird to hear your voices again. I ran out after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault after all. But now you're suffering because of me. No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, but because of me. I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt. <laughs> Sakura. I... Because of me. My friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. I really cannot make any jokes here. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with them. You asked to meet with those three? You can't! Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But... Talk about what? I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to shoot him. I just want to shoot him. <laughs> um... Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you... She'd still win. Hina. Please, don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. Even Byakuya? Sakura. <laughs> she clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you'd just talked to her, you would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet... trampled all over her feelings and then you did the unthinkable uh, um no that was just a, a misunderstanding what are you saying? don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding she believed in you and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say without asking a single question you tried to kill her <laughs> do you have any idea how desperate she was seeing you act like that that's what her suicide note means so instead of just waiting, waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Why? That's how far you pushed her. Uh -huh. Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. You came. Oh, man. Wait right here. I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? Some protein. I'd like it. Could I ask you to? Y yeah, you got it. Just hang on, I'll be right back. That was the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she'd asked for. <laughs> When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! P please Let me in! Please! Open the door! Why? Why? Why did she have to die? She had weaknesses, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness, that's normal. And yet, why? you all blamed her. I tried to protect her and I suffered for it. And that just added, the, added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. You know. We killed her. 
All of us. Okay, I know this is a bad time, but I'm gonna say Mikoto and Kyoko. Not really. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> and that's why you tried to lead us astray? You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted her to... I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I can never face her after this. Hey, hey! I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tear, Jugger, but... Hey! It's just taking so long, 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 long! I'm about to fall asleep over here! I thought he was gonna kick us out of the courtroom, like... I got things to do here. I gotta redecorate. Get out. This is... I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? What did you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant? What are you saying? Of course I know what she was thinking! Cause her and me, we fought! <laughs> well, what I'm really trying to say is... Yes, indeed! Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really... Like this. Did you switch the suicide notes? Oh, you darn tootin' he did. You absolute ass. <laughs> you were so bored by the thought of a suicide, you changed the notes? Mm-hmm. I dropped my phone. This is what Isn't this, it obvious? This is what this stupid bear does. He ruins everything. The asshole. Yeah. A suicide note. Sakura suicide note. He won... All of us to fail. What? But he know already. Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. Go fuck yourself. This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. Huh? What? Then you lied to me? Are you shocked? Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven things up a little. It's a lie. I can't help it if you totally took my little scribbles at face value. I don't even have Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little... I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. You ruined everything. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The cl this case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's the point? Oh, uh, what's the point? So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and scene, cut. You. So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Dog, you're an asshole. Hey, hey. But you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? Read it, asshole. And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? No, dog. You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth lo is lost in darkness. Gives me the wellies. Enough already. Could you get on with it, please? Chip with me. Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, geez. Talk about our bus kill. All right, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> My good friend, Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. She had a cool room. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. You see, the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. Okay, can we talk about the fact that she's writing this in Japanese? Using like a cal calligraphy uh, brush? Formal is how she does it at the dojo. Oh, I know that. That's not the issue. The issue is the fact that they didn't change this for the American version when everything else is written in English in this game. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. Can you choose between voiced or not voiced? That's how I saw things. Thank you. However, God damn it. 
That was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. This is supposed to be a dramatic reading of her of her. Just suicide. shut the fuck up and let me talk. But, but you're not neither talking. the mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reach another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. I had fucked her so good. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. Whew. And more than anything. Ah, she wrote Yawn in her suicide note? <laughs> I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. Fuck. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> Of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic? I want to punt this bear. I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your ha hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Why couldn't this all just be read? Of probably course, time limits I'm in there. still that. responsible Oof. for that as well. And probably some, like, reworking of specific things. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. It just feels weird. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit murder. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. Slam poetry, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> if the mastermind in the demands room. that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. There's when I die, the sort of the sort of have faith among you all died with me. She, she got a lisp. <laughs> she bit her tongue while writing this, and then she started writing like she bit her tongue. <laughs> For that, I'm willing to give up on my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating us. No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting? To protect us? Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. Fuck. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. Thank God the bear is giving us gaps in her suicide note to talk. 
The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please, don't be sad. <laughs> Her voice makes me yawn. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. Ah, so that's why he stole it. He hated the words quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakia, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. Byakia must be reeling right now. He's In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. That's why I kept laughing whenever the dialogue prompts came up of, In the end. <laughs> Because she says that so much. <laughs> in the end, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. matter. I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still. What are you gonna do? But in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. Uh -oh. She did so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. Well, that's more because of you, asshole. Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. No, let, let's stop framing her for this. It was you, Bear. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. No, I still blame you. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. He did it. First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sarko's death wasn't a waste. Her? Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina either. Uh -huh. Whether or not there was a spy never really mad. Because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What do you want? What the heck? That's not how this is supposed to go. But anyway, are you so sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey. Your enemy is each other. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Ah, oh, lovely Biagia, you understand, don't you? This is a life or death elimination match. Me, the only me, way me, to survive me, me. is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Hmm. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. Excuse me, you're not allowed to let me like you. Uh, you're not allowed. Uh? You're not allowed to become halfway decent. <laughs> Sarko and Hino were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear that others have cast aside their fear for this Don't game. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in this Just game. admit that you like us, okay? Stop being so cindery. What's going on here? Hmm. Now we have one thing to look forward to. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Byakia, does this mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't mo been moved by some thoughtless sentiment sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. Just admit you were. You you were sweating as you say that. Like, eh, don't don't do. Whatever master goes, I go. And if the mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire. Everyone. Hey. Well, now can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? Yeah. Oh, how boring. But nothing good can come of this. 
I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time. What the heck? The fun time? Hmm. Anyway, let's forget about that good for nothing backstabber and get back on track. You want me to punish you guys? Is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's punishment time! What? Wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead! You're not gonna. But... Is, is it me? Wrong. Oh, heavens no! Just because the black is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I'm very particular about the Bear Times 1 rule? Listen up! But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be a shame if I let it go to waste. So for my special punishment, I've prepared a special guest. A special guest? Everything we've got. It's punishment time. What? Oh. <gasps> yeah. We get to lose the bro twice, my dude. I assume this is what so uh, Sakura's execution is. No. Turned him into a mango and of junk. Ew, that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say for post workout grub, chicken's where it's at. And I'm all about the grill goodness. <laughs> Fried, boiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents. Grilled is where it's at. I am going to murder you. So, I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I... If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Dr. Ego's words raced through my heart and soul. My disbelief gave way and wrought to our anger. Anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It boiled up through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! Was How my dare dude. you kill him! What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a baseball, a basketball, I mean, not a baseball. Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. And you killed him! Is this what you call animate animism? Where a soul dwells within all things? Even like lab dogs? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. So, you finally noticed him. Actually Finally? No no no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah! I knew exactly how it was all gonna play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew. You were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge? Yep. Well, I mean, the data in the laptop, it was... I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Phew. Or maybe more like a reward, in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey! So of um... course I didn't care if you got access to that. But sneaking into the network was just too personal, so I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. <laughs> yeah, the punishment time 
yeah. Has made me feel a billion times better. I. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. It makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody's died so far. The deaths of each and every one of our friends. They all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Holy moly, you're super mad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay, time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that, uh -huh. I need to read the postscript. The what? What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's still a bit more left of Sakurai's note. Huh? <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay, then, here we go. Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours, truly. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, so I've learned one thing. He's gonna stop before he tells us. Which is, the mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... Yeah! Oops, it is! That was a close one. Another word and we would have been hip deep in spoiler territory. You are an ass. Too bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. Imagine if book clubs were just reading some What? Sadness. You can't just stop at the most important bit. It makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know what, huh? You That's the whole point, stupid. Is to get back at all of you for your hardening your resolve. Right, but at least Sakura's note. Well, I can't ever let any of you grace balls have it. But... Too bad. Size for you, loser. Wait, what's this? What? What is it now? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard. No matter what. And that's seriously it. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and that's seriously it. Oh, wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die. She'll fight you. Well, whatever. Who cares what some dead musclehead has to say? Well? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know? And maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach the school app of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> think about that. Think long. Think hard. Real. He's parting words to us before he disappearing. But what was that all about? Sokka's final message. Her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Who? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? The mastermind did something to our bodies. Why are they saying the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? We try to leave the school, a sensor like goes off? The bomb explodes? Stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff. It's not totally unheard of. Kyo thinks he's like part of the goddamn Suicide Squad. <laughs> no, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo. So the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. Right. Now, so, now what do we yes. do? What else is there other than to head back up? Um. Oh yeah, okay, let's get out of here. What? He know must still feel responsible. Hmm. hmm. Thou that ego a bit, girl. The kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost that kind of, to that kind of challenge. Didn't you kinda of, you kinda of did, dude. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Shut up. Seriously. I'm sorry. <laughs> How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make the la that the last one? I reach a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Okay. You just said sorry again. I see what you mean. Then... I'll... 
try. Huh? That totally wasn't normal, right? That was totally Manakuma. <laughs> Did she just capture his flag? No, 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 no. I cannot suffer in the exist oh, uh, I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Technically, there's three people that call someone Master. What are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? Sleaze ball. That's right. I called you a sleaze ball cuz you are sleaze ball. Go get him. Apparently you still have a death wish. Oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no. Hey, stop fighting with master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse give and take. Me. I guess it's not so easy for them to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. And so, Sakura's class trial came to an end. When they returned to the world of Hope's Peak Academy, the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We went back to our rooms. Before long, night snuck up on us. Do, do, it wasn't night already? Huh, guess not. Nah, the trials are usually midday. Mm. Hmm. Bed bugs. <laughs> Open the doors to the okay, then. <coughs> Those are great nightly announcements. <laughs> Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it down to sleep. I can remember the last time I fallen into such a deep sleep. Night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Wow. <laughs> it's oh my god, Waluigi! <laughs> Wake up. Huh? The voice dragged me from a deep slumber to hazy half consciousness. I was like glad. How did you get in here? Huh? Yes, it's me. I left your door unlocked, dumbass. I mean, I'm not opposed to this kind of dream. Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, I am what? Still, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk as fuck. In a flash, I was wide awake. <laughs> what are you doing it's here? True. I'm here to wake you up. Obviously. Oh, I see. Wait, but my door... It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. Do we really leave our door unlocked? Yup. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Always. And you don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. W what time is it? Three o'clock. In the morning, of course. Not in the afternoon. That it's would be 3 ridiculous. 3 a.m.? Who's gonna wake me up at this hour? Reasons. At least it's... I think it's a little past midnight game, but okay. I, I think it means like midnight. I guess so. It's... It's so late. What happened? I have a favor I need to ask. I thought it said I have a favor I need to ask, and I was like, what? <laughs> What's your favor? So... Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan to do that? Magic. Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered, Do me. Tell him not yet. <laughs> 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 the data center on the fourth floor. He looks so nervous. It's like, I've never had a girl be this close to my ear before. Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? The words reverberate through my half days ahead. The data center? I thought it was locked. Interesting. So I just gotta go there? I know this episode's getting long, but... I oh, we're gonna... Well, I'm gonna let us finish out this chapter. data center before. on the fourth floor. Eventually, I wound up with Data Center before I arrived. Kyoko's not here. That's where she said to meet me. Maybe she may be already inside already? And I don't want to send my force. Rada Rada. Get open. I'll try again, but Rada Rada. Must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? Data Center on the first. What's this? Oh, what are you doing up, mister? Yeah! Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... I can see that, you adult! Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself! It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you gonna try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? I was. This is all a dream. Go back to bed, Monokuma. <laughs> no, nothing like that. It's 3 o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed, you fuck! 
What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko. <laughs> you too? <laughs> you guys? Whatever, the two of you just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. I thought you were re-energized. That's destroying your laptop. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto. Let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Neither do I. Don't, don't worry about it. Let's just go. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, go on. Get out of here. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we left and went back to our rooms. And then? Goodbye. So, goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was that all about just now? She woke me up. Maybe go to the data center, which just allowed to be locked. Then she shows up late. We leave without t checking a single thing. What's the point of all that? Don't worry about it. She got exactly the information she needed. I just don't know what that information is. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sh sure. Then, that was over. And as I, but as I turned to leave... Interesting. What? what? Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. The sixteenth student lying hidden somewhere in the school. Ooh. May call the ultimate despair. Ooh. Watch out for her. It's a girl. So there's another student. Ah, oh, great. That means we're at an odd number again. <gasps> question dun, mark? Dun, dun. <laughs> I always loved that, how it flipped a seven with a tiny question mark. It's like... Seven? seven maybe? Maybe? Uh, maybe seven? Oh, thank God. We still have Alter Ebro. Alter Ebro, we love you. Uh, well, that was definitely an interesting case. Four by Gore! I was... Uh, yeah, she's just going to repeat it again at the beginning of the next chapter. So, uh, recap next time, everyone. Wow, this was a case. That's for certain. I... No! Cat, come here. You're gonna. I'm going to hold you while we go over this. This was a case. I was not expecting. I'll yeah. be honest. Early on, I wasn't expecting a suicide. Mm -hmm. Simply because it's. I kind of ruled out from the two impacts. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect two people to suck at murder. <laughs> yeah. And then she's just like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. Well, so here's... This is my interpretation of what was supposed to happen. Um, she... Based on the fact that in her note she says, you need to talk to them for me, I'm thinking she meant to slip the notes under their door and then... Oh, um, then kill herself. Yeah, and then, and then they discover the body. And then make sure that her note, like, leave her note there, then slip their notes under the door, and then go up to the rec room and just... Pah. If that was the case, why did she wait for Hero? You didn't think that part through, did you? No. The other way that I interpreted it, though, until I heard that line was that... <laughs> To, to no, because like, literally, no, literally that, um, that line is what made me think, oh, maybe she just intended not to meet with him at all. And then I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. But, okay. um, once you brought that up, uh, the way that I originally interpreted it was that she wanted, she had one last ditch effort to see if they like, were going to listen to her. And if not, she was going to make the ultimate sacrifice of killing herself. Yeah. But, uh, I definitely have, uh some overall theories of the game but i think she also maybe just wanted to explain to them like she maybe just wanted to give them like her final apologies so before she went out with a now we need now the question the is who the fuck is mukuro ikasaba also um the blood stain in front of the magazine was from whenever she went to deal with toko really okay yeah so when she throw up the blood I assume while she was over there, she probably coughed a bit and some blood got on the floor, but also blood dripping from her head. Okay. That's why so. there was so much over there. Uh, this was certainly the most interesting case. So uh, before we end off, I guess Sakura's execution? Yes. The other one that I was interested in was Junko's, because you never read that one. 
when she, you know, died prematurely. I don't know if they wrote her an execution since she technically did get executed, just in a, just in, with the on stabs. Or, on, on orthodox way. Yeah, let me see. They did not, because she got stabbed. Okay. Because that's technically an execution, because Monokuma killed her. Okay. I guess. I don't oh, know. That's boring. Uh, deciding match of the whole galaxy. Sakura is standing... Yeah. That's awesome. Sakura is standing in wilderness. Various space alien commanders and soldiers appear and surround her, manipulating the atmosphere. Even though Sakura successfully kicks them one after another, the enemies don't stop appearing. Eventually, it becomes too crammed and she dies by the pressure of being buried. Hmm. I feel like some of these would be more intense if you could watch them. So far, the only one that's felt, like, pretty decent uh, during these descriptions of the execution has been... Uh, Tacos. Because that one was simple. Yeah. But, uh, I guess that's it for this episode? Yeah. I re- This was definitely the least painful so far. Mm-hmm. Because, like, while I was upset about Sakura, and as time developed, I got a little more upset, I- it ended on such a note that, like, I feel, while, I'm, while I really feel more upset about her being gone... I can't, like, be mad about it. Because you should... This was definitely, like, the least dissatisfying. Mm Mm-hmm. So the most satisfying. No, there's no satisfying in this. (laughs) There's no... There's no satisfaction in this game. There's just less dissatisfaction. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, I'm not... I'm not satisfied with freaking Sakura dying. I would have preferred her not to. I like Sakura. Yeah. The only character I hate is Byakuya. Everyone else I like. Yeah, I'll show Except you. Except for Hifumi. He can also die. And he did. I Happy can, days. I can show you, uh... Memories. <sighs> I did it, Aaron's reaction. I can also show you, uh, my reaction that I sent to our, our friend. friend. But, uh, that's it for this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I guess since usually we, uh, we, we haven't been doing this lately, but, uh, uh, you can follow me at The Real Game Hero on Twitter. You can follow me at a links or at a links underscore art. Our artist is at the jazzy. Mm-hmm. Anything else we want to promote? Nah. Listen to Face Jam. Listen, listen to Face Jam. <laughs> uh, bye guys. Bye. See you next time when hopefully... No one else dies, but that's too much. Whoever this Mukuru Ikasaba is is gonna fuck up the fact that we finally become friends. Byakuya might not kill us. Thanks, bitch. Manet.